Go to the phone lines, 03717 We're talking Man City. Hello, Paul, how are you? Afternoon, you OK? I'm good, I'm very well. Did you know the heart was in the middle, not on the left? It's on the left. You learn something new every day, don't every you? Every day. Every day on this show, Paul. What did we learn last night, if anything, from Man City? I don't think we really learned it. We just knew how good they were, right? No, but I think we've got to the stage now where, regardless of whether we do the treble or not, we are the best team in the world at the moment, in my eyes. Oh, yeah. I can't argue I mean, that. listen, Paul, you've beaten the reigning world champions, who a lot of people thought oh, arguably were one of the best teams ever, 4-0. Like, it was so yeah. one-sided, it was, it was scary. Yeah, last night, that first half was probably the best I've ever seen City play. Um, when you've got a midfield like they've got, and just to totally outplay them and get into the little pockets all the time and keep the ball and ping it about to the content that we did, I'm not sure we'll ever see that ever again. Do you know what? And this is no disrespect to Modric, Cruz and these guys. Uh, Manchester City's midfield made them look old. Yeah, exactly. It looked at times like I was chasing them. Um, you know, and I'm nearly 40 and slightly overweight. So, you know, they, yeah, exactly. They just couldn't get near De Bruyne, couldn't get near Bernardo. Paul, can uh, like I ask? You said earlier, Rodri. Paul, you said if yeah. we win the treble. I mean, honestly, it pains me to say it, and I hope you don't, but I just can't see you not doing it now. No, but there's always a little bit of a, a you know, risk element with it, and especially with Inter, it's a team where they're going to, I think, sit back. City have a little bit of difficulty with that sometimes when the team goes behind the ball. That's where we've probably lost our games this season mm. and then been hit on the counter-attack with a bit of a sucker punch. And, you know, Tottenham, for example, we lost their 1-0 where we totally dominated the game. But just, you know, a team that played five at the back and hit us with one shot, uh, one shot on target. And there has been elements of that this year where we have conceded off the first shot that the other teams hit us with. So, yeah. Don't get me wrong, we're massive favourites. I do on any day think we can beat them, but there is always that, you know, slight slight risk back. Mm. And the same goes with United, I suppose. Paul, thanks for calling. Let's speak to another Man City fan. Steve joins us. Hi, Steve. Hello, guys. Great show, Thank as you, always. Man. Thank you, Steve. Off we go, pal. Right, basically, what I think will happen, we'll win the league this weekend, whether Forest beat Arsenal or we smash Chelsea, whatever. And that team then will be put into cotton wool, the team that won last night no, I agree. for the finals yeah. against United. And then we'll rest them again for the, the Inter Milan game. And I think uh, the treble's ours, lads. You might as well just give it us now. Do you, do you, I, I'm so confident. I, I, I agree with you to a certain extent about if you, if you win the league this weekend, wrap up the players. But there's always that argument. I don't know if it's right or wrong, the argument. It's always the argument that you want to keep that, that same momentum. Win, yeah, and that winning mentality. I don't really expect too many changes. If maybe one player or two players carrying a little niggle, then maybe rested. But do you, do you honestly think that Pep will make that many changes? I think he'll play a few of the kids. I think a few of the kids called Barmer, yeah. Rico Lewis will get a run out against Brentford or Brighton. But I think the core of that team last night is just the best team that City can put out on the, on the field. Yeah. And I think that if you missed the play, you've not talked about Gundogan. Gundogan was just outstanding yeah. again last night. He was. And Bernardo Silva, when, when we played by, uh, Bayern Munich, Bernardo Silva played exactly the way he played last night. So whether he's just got great in Europe or just great, great player, it's just <laughs> what? absolutely positive. I'm so proud. Steve, what, what will mean more to you this season, winning the Premier League or the Champions League? Premier League all day. Wow. Bread and butter, isn't it? Bread Premier and butter, League, Steve. It is, it is, listen, the Premier League is so difficult to win. Look what happened to Arsenal against Southampton. I know, but you've won it. Teams can take teams from the top get, and take points off I them. I know. And listen, they, I hear that argument, but Man City have never won the Champions League before. But it's coming this year, mate. We'll have it this year. And then we'll send it to John Moore, scrap it, <laughs> and put it in the back pocket. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. I, I never you, you really... Don't, you don't want them to do it because you, do, you want to be the only team to have done it. Yeah, of course. And, well, that, and I don't want Man City to win anything. Nah, see, I, I want them to have the treble. So then do you, you? So then, no, but then you can't... Oh, just for me. No, but then you can't hold on to that and then Arsenal, I can hold on to no other team's not gone the whole Premier League season without getting beat. Right. If if they do the treble this season... Yeah. You can't then say, we're the only team to win the treble. No, no, no. I will do everything in my powers to make sure they go unbeaten next season. How are you... I don't know. <laughs> I've not worked that out They yet. are phenomenal. They are... The, the team that I saw last night... I don't know how you beat that team. No, that's a very... You know what? They mentioned it on commentary ever so briefly. It looked like they had about 15 players on the pitch. But I love... Wherever them. they lost the ball, there was groups of Man City shirts. I love them. Modric. I love Cruz. They, these guys are legends of the game. They made... Even Benzema. They made them look old last night. 
They couldn't run. Do, do you think that's the type of game where if you if you found out what they were saying in the Spanish press, they'll be saying like, "Is this the end of the year?" Yes. Do you think so? But even it's like almost like Venetia's tried once to run Kyle Walker and went, "You know what? I can't do it. I can't do that. Yeah, forget that." Good work. Keep your calls coming in. Oh three seven one seven double two double three to four. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.